just that. And we are committed to ensuring that exactly happens. Um, as we are talking, um, the city is very calm. In, indeed, um, the whole city is safe, secure, and uh, members of the public are generally going about their day-to-day -day activities. They have gone to places, places of worship without any disruption at all. And we expect that to continue even after tomorrow's uh, um, decision is uh, delivered by the uh, Supreme Court. However, uh, this morning we got a report of uh, some incidents, uh, one within uh, Mukuru Kwaruben, that is along Gong River within the industrial area, where we have an informal settlement, where we got a report of uh, one person having been stabbed by another unknown person on the chest. What we are told, uh, there was a funeral preparation gathering last night. There were contributions. There was an alarm going on. Now, the person who was co uh, occurring the collection, uh, the money which was raised after that event, a known person confronted him, stabbed him, and stole that money. Um, we would like to appeal to our people when they, are, say, they, they have such events, let, let, let them alert uh, the station com commander, the police station commander within that area to provide security. Then also we got a report of um, four people having been murdered within Madare Area 4. Very unfortunate. We went there and we found those bodies with injuries. And um, we've commenced our investigations. Um, and we, we are confident whoever has committed that offense will be finally be arrested and taken to court to answer charges for the wrong he has committed. Uh, um, what we've done, the strategy we've put in place is to announce police presence, patrols within uh, that area, the of Madare, Area 4, Area 2, the of Madare, uh, Babadrogo. But we'd like to ask our people not um, to cause unnecessary uh, panic. Because there are those who have already, we are aware, started inciting communities against other communities. What happened has nothing to do with ethnic clashes. It's a crime which has been committed, murder has been committed, but nothing to do with uh, ethnic uh, clashes. As a national police service, and as I've stated with their counterpart from prisons, those who have come to support us, we are committed. We know we are equal to the task to ensure that uh, the city indeed is calm. Um, we are aware again the leaders inciting residents of this city, mainly those in the informal settlement. We are asking, and we are stating clearly, Linda, to stop that one. Let us be responsible. Going out there, inciting our people to kill one another, to hurt one another, we are not going to allow that one. And you've seen us effecting arrests. As we are talking here, we are going to arrest many more. We are out there pursuing those who have incited our people in the recent past. And they will go to court. We have evidence against them. We have a responsibility to protect life and the property. And that one, we are going to do it 
protect our people without fear and favor, as I've always stated. Any one life lost to us means a lot to us. The life of every citizen of this city is dear to us. We are committed to protecting everybody. Whichever status, the commitment is there. And that's why you are seeing these officers here <coughs> discussing to answer that. Ensuring the city is safe and secure for everybody. And we are going to do that. Exactly that. At all costs. Because we cannot allow anybody, as I've always stated, to mess up with this beautiful city of ours. I keep saying Nairobi is the best city in the world. We cannot allow anything to go wrong to this city. We are committed to doing exactly that. Whatever effort is required, that will be done. It belongs to all of us, you and me. And that's why I'm calling also for the members of the press. Assist us in preaching peace. Amani, Amani Kila Wakati. Let's continue being good neighbors. We will join you now. 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 Na sisi polisi tuko pale kuhakikisha hiyo amani inaendelea. Kwa hivyo wenzetu kutoka kwa media wenzetu kutoka kwa media mtusaidie. Tuko na shida ingine. As I've said, there are those inciting some communities not to pay rent. Is that right? You occupying somebody's housing unit. You agreed you've been so paying so much at the end of the month. Why don't you honor that agreement? So we're engaging even the landlords and the tenants so that there's harmony between the two. But that leader who is going out there inciting this tenant not to pay rent, it is for the tenant and the landlord to sit down and agree on the mode of payment. But that is causing a, a bit of tension in the city, where people are being told, don't pay rent. Somebody has taken a loan. He has put up his build, uh, this building. You have agreed to live in Namuni, to stay together, you know, based on the agreement you entered into, together. What I'm saying, we are engaging both the landlords and the tenants. Let's again not have animosity between the two. Let's not have violence between the two parties. I know the rent tribunal is there to address those issues. But also we have a responsibility, of course, with the, <coughs> the local administration, the chief, uh, the county commissioner. So that engagement is there. But what you're calling for, let's not have people acting one another. Dialogue, dialogue will make us continue existing in harmony so that we can have a better city for our children, for the generation to come. Where do we want to destroy this city when we have enjoyed living in this city? <coughs> Now, because uh, some of us, we are that age, we, want, we don't want uh, our children to have a good city. They enjoy also that we have enjoyed. Let's be responsible. Otherwise, uh, that much uh, I thought I share with you. Unless uh, there are any concerns you would like me to address, you're welcome at this stage. Please ask. Tell us you're from which media house. <coughs> Yes, uh, speak up, please.